immoral woman like this, she's better off dead. Helen Jewett's murder sells thousands of papers, but it does little to stop the spread of commercialized sex in New York. By 1858, prostitution brings in an estimated $6.3 million a year, more than the shipbuilding and brewing industries combined. Whoring is so widespread in Gotham that Walt Whitman writes, 19 out of 20 of the mass of American young men who live in or visit the great cities are more or less familiar with houses of prostitution and are customers to them. The growing number of men who frequent New York prostitutes is accompanied by an alarming rise in VD rates. It's later estimated that 75% of New York men have had some type of social disease. Nevertheless, prostitution continues to boom, thanks in large part to the bribes paid to police and politicians by New York brothel owners and madams. To counter this widespread corruption, private citizens groups take matters into their own hands. Out of this movement, the Society for the Suppression of Vice is born. The organization's newly named leader will be the dominant voice in American censorship for the next 40 years. Anthony Comstock. Comstock is the single man shock troop of the anti-vice purity crusade. He would go and drag uh, prostitutes out of brothels and the like. In the 1870s, he attended a, a, a bar and watched a show called Busy Fleas, where uh, three women naked poured champagne on themselves and beer and uh, feasted on each other's bodies and then did clever things with cigars and he dragged them all off to jail. The anti-prostitution torch is picked up by Presbyterian minister Charles Parkhurst and a number of citizens groups. By 1900, great sexual and political changes are underway, including society's rationalization of the prostitute. America has a hard time accepting that so many young women turn to prostitution voluntarily. There is a growing belief that more sinister forces are at work. Thus, the image of the fallen woman gives way to that of the white slave. Headlines would blare out 65,000 girls are kidnapped and sold into slavery each year. We have to fight a war to free white women from sex. A moral panic sweeps the nation, and Congress passes the Mann Act, a law making it illegal to transport women across state lines for immoral purposes. More than 1,500 men, including Charlie Chaplin and heavyweight champ Jack Johnson, are arrested under this vaguely...